AWS has announced that it's going to begin charging for public IPv4 addresses, by which they mean IP addresses that are not in RFC 1918 space. Now, each public IP address per month cost about $3.5 US. AWS has offered bring your own IP addressing for years at no charge and is always there to help you get it set up. By the way, Azure and Google Cloud have been charging for IP addresses in public for a while. So just let me repeat, if you are bringing your own IP addressing, the public IP addressing, you should be good. But if you have purchased your public IP addresses in IPv4 from AWS, this charge is related to that. IP addresses version 4, of course, are a scarce resource. There are only just under 4.3 billion IP addresses available. That is why IPv6 was introduced that, so that there are roughly around 340 trillion 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 IPv6 addresses. Today, there are no more never allocated IP, IPv4 addresses left to allocate. So instead, companies have to buy them on the secondary market. Due to the way subnetting works, you cannot simply reclaim unused individual IPs. They need to be allocated as contiguous ranges. I believe that instead of winning about this new change, companies should migrate to IPv6 addressing no matter how painful and prolonged that process is. Now, if you don't know which IPv4 public addresses you are using, you, all you need to do is to go to your VPC settings and then in VPC, you will have this a um, new feature in Amazon VPC IP address manager, which will tell you public IP insights. In public IP insights, you will see which public IP types you have and your elastic IP usage. And then on the left hand side, you will be able to see which 42 public IPs in V4 you have. You can also see sort filter and learn more about those public IP v4 addresses, whether they are associated or not, what is exactly the IP address and which service is using them. So for example, in this diagram, you can see that side to side VPN and RDS and Redshift are using some of the IP public v4 addressing. And just on a lighter note, I'm not sure why anyone would use public IP v4 address with RDS. Well, each to their own. Um, so yeah, so uh, and, and one more thing, as I already told you about the rough pricing, if you want to delve more into what exactly is the uh, cost, so this one is the main one. Here you can see that existing price was no charge for this in-use public IPv4 addressing, including Amazon provided public IPv4 and Elastic IP, and new pricing will be 0 0.004, which will be valid from Feb 2024 next year. So um, I hope that you found it informational. If you have any question, please put them in the comment section. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.